Yeah, so season two feels like it is a progression in terms of the story. The Bondi hipsters we've actually upscaled in the sense that there's more going on and slightly more dynamic action throughout that story. And the Kiwi Assassins as a storyline as well has upscaled somewhat. Like we've been able to up the ante in terms of the spoof of the genre, which is sweet. Cavemen, we upscaled literally by having a tribe now. So we've got a tribe to manage as opposed to just um, Styx and Rocky, the two characters just trying to navigate their existence together. So yeah, it both feels like a bigger universe and also smaller at the same time. It's, it's cool, it's, it feels fun. And there is a new storyline um, of uh, these tombs characters. Basically guys who set up the tombs that end up getting tomb raided, if that makes any sense. Set up the Indiana Jones tombs. And that's a big storyline because we've had to build sets and do all kinds of stuff that we've never actually had to do, you know, which is, feels really grown up. She's a bit of a fixer upper. Uh, already, we've had to cull so many storylines, characters, ideas, I guess you can call them sketches because some stories just birth out of sketches and stuff. So many, so we already have what we think would be quite a lot of material for a third season. We've got feature film ideas for the hipsters, also the Kiwi Assassins. Um, that could also work as a TV series. So it's just, yeah, we're, we're pregnant with ideas. Doesn't sound right, does it? Pregnant with ideas. It's just such a meh <laughs> way to say something, but I said it. I love um, the Auntie Donna fellas. I really love them. Like I, I have affinity with them as humans, their comedy, how they say shit. Broden particularly has got a cadence to his words and he's got like such a particular beat. Can't get enough of that. There's so many gifters, like the Racka Racka guys who do a, t uh, a ton of stunt based comedy is brilliant. There's a guy called Michael Shanks who does a lot of VFX based stuff. He was birthed out of online and recently did the Wizards of Oz, which I think you guys supported as well. And he's wonderful, in which Screen Australia supported also. You know, like, you, we are definitely on the teat of Screen Australia, <laughs> which is great. Oh, we, we've, we've had independent conversations like, wait, what would we have done without Screen Australia support? And we're like, yeah, don't know. I'd be working in advertising. 